Welcome to Do It For The Gram, an Enneagram podcast with your host, certified Enneagram coach, Milton Stewart, where we do it for the Enneagram, not Instagram. We make moves to improve our lives and those in our community. So now we are on the defense mechanism of the type four. If you have not caught the first two episodes that I did with Elizabeth Worm, definitely check that one out because we go into depth a little bit in preparation for the defense mechanisms and a little bit about healing messages and wounding messages from the Enneagram lens, which is absolutely great episode. So don't forget to check that out. But if you're like, hey, I just want to check out the episode that has my number on it, that's totally fine too. So intro music, kick it. super excited to announce my new partnership with BetterHelp. This episode is actually sponsored by BetterHelp. If you are struggling, BetterHelp can help. You'll receive 10% off your first month when you sign on using betterhelp.com forward slash do it. So I'm super excited uh, about this partnership that me and BetterHelp have um, entered into because in this point where everything that we're doing right now to connect with people is more virtual, it is so important mental health. I think that aligns perfectly with things that we're trying to do, things that I want to do, and um, anybody that I would refer or think that could be potentially beneficial to the audience. And I think BetterHelp is definitely one of them. BetterHelp is basically, it's online counseling or therapy. So you're able to actually get some counseling or therapy Uh, depending on what's going on from licensed counselors and therapists around the country. And um, you get to be able to get some of that one-on-one mental checkup that you may need and BetterHelp's able to help you. So just go to betterhelp.com forward slash do it and you'll get a 10% discount for your first month. So what are defense mechanisms? So defense mechanisms are these real tricky parts of our ego structure that a lot of times we don't recognize because they fall right in line with our type structure, which makes it hard to identify. And a lot of times to even know that we're doing it. So they really stop things from truly getting to our heart and kind of like shut down a connection. So it's like when our ego gets tripped by something that could um, possibly make us a little bit more vulnerable or connect in a way uh, that maybe deconstructs part of our ego. So our defense mechanism comes up as a way to block and stop things from getting past when our ego gets tripped. So it's a real tricky thing. And it's like an alarm that goes off when the ego is tripped. So why are they important? They're important because if you allow them to go unnoticed and unchecked, then you're never going to be able to do deeper inner work. You will be stuck at the surface level of growth and you'll be like, yeah, I grew. And then you'll just be in this one little area and not going much deeper uh, to the depths of your heart, to the depths of your mind, um, in the depths of your soul. And as for fours, you know, that's the one thing they do want to do when it comes to the ego structure of the four. But there's levels that are way deeper than even the natural deepness that the four wants to go to. It's things that the four personality structure actually doesn't deal with that are beneath some of the intense feelings um, and emotions that they do have. So defense mechanisms definitely stop anyone and everyone from getting deeper into our growth. So how does it work based on uh, the law of three? I'm going to introduce the law of three, which is really understanding that it's more than two ways of seeing things in the world and life. There is usually a reconciling force, a.k.a. a third point, law of three happening here. There's usually two opposing positions, and then there's usually one space that we can meet uh, that will reconcile both of them, a third force that we can meet to reconcile both of them, and hopefully we choose the one that is healthy. But in this instance, the defense mechanism is one that's unhealthy. So um, the type four ego structure believes it is unique and authentic as an ideal, Okay, so if you know a four, 
and for those who are listening, then you know it's a it's a deep yearning for the authentic to be authentic and to get that authenticity from others that they are around and with as well is a big thing. So in order for that idealization of themselves to stay intact, they must avoid ordinariness, shallowness, and inadequacy. So in the inadequacy part is really interesting because the four type structure does a thing, you know, where there's a feeling of longing or something's missing Um, which becomes tricky. But in that space of longing and missing, there's a feeling of still being unique and special because I am special because I am missing something that no one else has. And so it's actually counter to inadequacy, which is super strange to kind of wrap your mind around. But it is one of the things that the type four is avoiding at the same time. So if you believe you are unique and authentic, and not that you can be, then that means you must avoid anything that looks like ordinariness, possible shallowness, and inadequacy, which is the reality to everyone to feel ordinary or to be ordinary or to be inadequacy or to have shallowness in our lives. And and so to order to avoid that, then you must come out with a defense mechanism for the type four is introjection. So the law of the three, if you look at it this way, on one end of this triangle, we have we have unique and special. Like I am unique, I am special, right? Now, if you draw a line straight across at the other end of the spectrum, we have I am ordinary, I can be shallow, I am inadequate. So we have these things on this line, right? So in order for them to connect, for the ego structure to stay intact, they meet at a place in this triangle. This creates a triangle because the point goes down because it's not a healthy placement of what you can do, but it goes down. So in order to keep that intact, it creates what's called introjection for the type four. So what in the world is introjection? Introjection is a pattern of attaching negative things from other people to oneself. So... It is also a creation of assumptions that they have done something wrong, are wrong or flawed based on preconceived interaction with someone, then agonizing over the negative internalization from their assumption. So what that can look like, for example, is possibly a four being in a relationship with someone and the relationship is broken and, you know, somebody uh, broke up with somebody. And in this position, the four has literally taken on all of whatever issues that happen in the relationship upon themselves and all of the problems of it. And then at the same time, literally agonizing about all of the negative things that they've taken in. So it's really absorbing every negative aspect that they can of possibly that person, the relationship, that situation onto themselves. And then agonizing, complaining, talking about how it's making them suffer and all these things, and even making themselves suffer for the situation that happened. Instead of maybe seeing where possibly some of this stuff does not belong to them and it's actually the other person's junk as well. So that's uh, how the defense mechanism of introjection can actually look. Just attributing things to them that are all negative from a situation from other people um, and these different assumptions that they can create and put upon themselves, shooting down their own self-confidence and self-esteem based on uh, a situation. And this can come out in many different ways because the the four, especially depending on the subtype, can roar at a person and like really come out really strong and make a person feel wrong for a situation, especially the sexual four. But then... After the whole interaction where it got strong and it was big, the four can actually really feel bad about the situation. And this is where the introjection may set in for the sexual four uh, and possibly the the social four as well. self prayers probably gets introjection a little bit easier um, because they hold things in, but it'll come a little bit later for the sexual or the social four where they would actually feel really bad and they would really start attributing all the negative things about whatever happened completely to them. Does your workplace stink because the culture sucks? 
Are you tired of tolerating people and wish you could all work together cohesively? Does going to work give you instant anxiety? If you say yes to any one of these, you should probably quit your job. But since you aren't going to quit your job, you should call Kaizen Careers. At Kaizen Careers, we are all about improving personal and workplace performance. We use a unique tool called the Enneagram. The Enneagram helps individuals and organizations become more self-aware. That self-awareness lends into helping organizations with communication, leadership, and conflict management, ultimately turning self-awareness into self-mastery and creating healthy workplace performance so you can improve your services and bottom line. You can reach Kaizen Careers at kaizencareers.com or 901-334-1644. So how do we counteract this defense mechanism of interjection? So one of the things that is very helpful is to put a screen up, put a visualize a mental screen where you see the things like a screen, the things that are yours, they come through the screen from their relationship and from whatever happened. But Everything that's not yours stays on the other side of that screen and it belongs to the other person because it takes more than one person to be able to be inside of a relationship. So whenever something comes up and there's a breakup or there's a rift, it's two people tangoing or maybe even more depending on your situation, but everyone has their own faults and blame in it. So it's to be able to not take in like whatever else is somebody else's. So you put up that visualizer screen. It's like, nah, that stuff's not mine. Now, this is mine. That's stuff I do have to work on. But that other stuff, that's all theirs, right? And these are some good things I did, you know, when I was in a relationship or a situation. So that's a big deal. Put up that screen, okay? Visualize the screen that you have. So the next thing to counteract the defense mechanism is search and seek for things that you have done that are actually beneficial, and how is it simply a part of life and humanity that we all must endure? So it's that part of seeking and understanding that sometimes situations are just a part of the human condition and they're not exclusive to you as a four to suffer in a specific situation. It is more of a simple part of humanity and it just kind of sucks sometimes, and that's the way it is, but it may just suck for everyone, and every all of it is not bad for you. So it starts to look for, you can counter that interjection by looking for the good things and the things that were very beneficial from you in that situation or relationship or whatever that you see the interjection is starting to happen. So that is one way of flipping it. So also just want to let you know, March 15th is a really big day. Um, pay attention to all my social media. Things will be coming out quite frequently on what's happening there. Super excited about that. Also, just want to send a shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Um, you can support this podcast. We're going to patreon.com forward slash do it for the gram. If you would like to support the podcast, very thankful for that. And my patrons are amazing. Great community there. I'm constantly working on doing better and building more connection there. And they all have a direct line to me. And then also... I want to thank all the people who have um, given me really good ratings on iTunes. Uh, I just went through there and looked at the reviews the other day, and they're like really good. And people are like, I just think it's amazing when someone takes their time out of their day to say that they're very thankful for podcasts or something that someone's doing. Because it's so easy for people to, you know, get online and hate and talk bad about people and all these things. But I'm just really thankful uh, for all the iTunes people and everybody who's left a review, um, a star and glowing review or just an honest review that is like trying to be beneficial. I really appreciate that. Yeah, besides that, in the big news, there's a free ebook if you go to my website, kaizencareers.com and you look under Enneagram, you'll find ebook and there's actually a free ebook there that you can get. It is uh, simple, straight to the point, practical, just like me. And that's all I have to this episode. Short, quick, sweet, to the point. And remember, if you're four and you feel interjection starting to kick in, take a deep breath, breathe, <laughs> and make a smarter choice. Do it for the gram, the Enneagram, of course. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.